Opera Box Talks with your host, Chloe Hurst. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Opera Box Talks, the box where we got some talks. Today, we would like to welcome Nolan Killer. Welcome. Uh, thank you. I'm really thrilled to be a part of Opera Box Talks. Uh, I feel like I should maybe correct something right off the get-go here. Uh, you're pronouncing my name Nolan Killer, which I completely understand. Uh, it's very French, much like uh, your name, Chloe. Uh, but my name is a little bit more on the German side. It's actually pronounced Nolan Kaler. Uh, Kaler is, a, is a, a German word. So uh, that's the actual pronunciation of my name. And you think that's a better option for you? You might want to think about changing that because, you know, don't kid yourself. Check yourself. Nolan, please tell us, where are you from? Uh, well, I am from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, a uh, beautiful prairie gem of, uh, of a city. And I grew up uh, just south of Winnipeg uh, in a tiny town called Altona, where uh, the love of music was instilled in me from a very early age. It's a great place to grow up. I had a ton of fun as a kid and I was, uh, I was exposed to all kinds of different music as well. There's a really strong singing community uh, down here in Southern Manitoba. We're big into choirs really it's it's a big part of uh, of a cultural identity that exists down, down here, here as part as of the, part the uh, Mennonite, Mennonite tradition so I, I feel like that's where I sort of got into into singing and I'm really proud to be from southern Manitoba and I'm really excited to be back in Winnipeg too I haven't been for, for a long time Three Nolan, years, I'm, Nolan I'm sorry I just have to stop you right there because there may be other people listening right now who are in the same boat of me as me I apologize that maybe have no idea like these places you're talking about, like Win Winnipeg, man, 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 man. like where are these places even located? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Winnipeg is right in the middle of, of Manitoba. It's, uh, it's, it's a great province. Uh, it's often called the forgotten province. So you'd be forgiven, of course, for not uh, realizing where it is, but mm. it's a great place. I hope that you get a chance to come and visit sometime as, Not likely. as should the thousands of other uh, Opera Box subscribers, the, the millions of fans that this platform has. Yes. So we should all make your way down to Winnipeg. It's a fabulous place to be. And yeah, it's, oh. uh, well, I mean, it's right between, uh, uh -huh. Ontario, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, to, I've to heard of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. And, uh, and we've got uh, Saskatchewan to the west. Not as good, but you know, it's a B plus province. We'll, we'll take it. B plus. Yeah. Maybe on a good day. Okay. So you're from this place that's mm -hmm. bordering Ontario. Um, you mentioned that you grew up somewhere where you were singing lots and choirs and stuff like that. Um, so at what point did singing actually become your attempted career? Well, it actually, it came kind of late, actually. I, I started off as, as a drummer for, for much of my, uh, for much of my life. And then enough people uh, said, you should consider maybe doing the singing thing. And I thought that sounded like a lot of fun. I really enjoyed singing. And so I went uh, to study music, vocal performance at Canadian Mennonite University here in Winnipeg. And then uh, I actually had the chance to pursue music uh, at a master's level as well. And I, I graduated from uh, the University of Victoria out in your neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, I graduated just last year. And oh, okay. Well, um, congratulations on that. Um, we Thanks. got to hear you sing last week in Opera Box's Carmen Week. I yeah. believe you were in the Carmen Quintet. Um, so you have recently finished your master's and you, Vic, threw you a bone to do it there, I guess, because you're a tenor. And, uh, and here we are now. So uh, I see music has been a big part of your life, but I would just like to back it up a little bit. Beep, beep, beep. You mentioned you were a drummer? Like, yeah. Uh, 
it's a, it's a fascinating uh, kind of, I find it fascinating how I came to be a singer and how the two kind of complement each other. Even now, uh, I'm still drumming for various groups uh, around Winnipeg. And uh, I've been in the studio a few times. I've recorded a, a couple. Hey, Nolan. Yeah. Yes, Chloe. What do you call a drummer with half a brain? Um, you know, I, I, I can't say I know what what do you call them? Gifted. Ba boom. <laughs> Let's move on. Aside from music, Nolan, what do you enjoy? Well, uh, I have a, I have a, quite a few hobbies that I enjoy in my spare time. I like uh, listening to records, for instance, and uh, I, I really love baseball. Um, I loved playing the game for a long time. And uh, now I enjoy watching games on TV. Uh, mm -hmm. Baseball has just started up again after a few months of absence because of the pandemic. And uh, every once in a while, I also really enjoy uh, listening to baseball games on the radio. There's just something about uh, listening to a baseball game, especially on AM wait, wait, radio. Wait, 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 wait. So you're taking the most boring sport, which is bad enough when you have to watch it, you're taking away the visual and somehow you find enjoyment in this. Uh, well, yeah. The, I think that the slowness of baseball is actually one of its more attractive qualities. And when you're listening to it, you can imagine the action going on in your head. It also has this like nostalgic quality to it. Uh, it's something that I was doing even as a kid. My dad would put on the baseball game on the radio and we'd listen to it as we were driving through the countryside. Manitoba's blessed with some really beautiful... I'm sorry, spots, I'm sorry. I just, I the, can't, I can't. I can't. I'm guessing baseball is a man and a type thing. And out here on the West Coast, we just have like better things to do with our time. So I'm assuming other people aren't finding this super interesting. So I would like to, again, move on from baseball and maybe talk about, is there anything else you've been doing with your time now since uh, the pandemic? Well, um, I've not been doing a whole lot of singing. Lots of my uh, performances and opportunities were canceled because of COVID-19, which was, of course, pretty sad and pretty, uh, yeah. Wait, pretty do you hear like, that? Uh, no, is there, is there like some kind of background noise happening on my, on my end? Well, I don't know about you, but right now I'm hearing a bit of a wambulance. Sorry, go on. Well, anyway, during this time, I've uh, I've been working some as well. Uh, my one of my side jobs is working at uh, at the CBC here in Winnipeg. I work as a uh, technical producer and as a uh, part time uh, reporter as well. Uh, part of my job is working uh, behind the scenes on our local radio shows. Here, you might think this is a fictional interview, but it's not. You can't tell me that the CBC has hired you. What are they that hard up? Seriously. Well, uh, we definitely all had to pull our weight during the pandemic. Uh, it's been a lot of conversations about what comes next after we return to the to the new normal. But I feel really lucky to have had some great conversations with some uh, really amazing people that are making a big difference uh, in the community in Winnipeg and really across Manitoba. Actually, it's uh, it's kind of funny. I've been uh, I've been finding that the, my work in singing and my work in uh, journalism, so to speak, has kind of dovetailed really well. They're both really interesting explorations of. Uh, oh, they're both really interesting. And, really? Yeah, well, yeah. Gosh, I wish we had a bit of that flavor in this interview today. You know what, Milan? I'm just uh, baseball journalism, drumming, a little bit of singing. I I just I feel. Like, who are you? Really, like, with a name like Nolan Killer? I just feel like you could be doing so many more interesting things. And I, I just feel like, like we've had enough. And we're going to just uh, wrap it up. And I'd like to say uh, sorry to all the people who made it to the end of this interview. We're going to end it now. But I would really like you to 
visit our YouTube channel, Opera Box Company. Give a like and subscribe. Opera Box is one word in case you didn't catch that in last week's episode. I am Chloe Hurst, your host. And this has been another episode of Opera Box Talk. Opera Box Talks with your host, Chloe Hurst.